How to get rid of bed bugs. It truly is hard to sleep tight when the bed bugs bite, since these insidious creatures are very real and very nasty. You'll have to be persistent to get rid of them. You will need a vacuum cleaner, a washing machine, a dryer, a dry cleaner, a steam cleaner, plastic or fabric and plastic mattress covers, four bowls of soapy water or boric acid, sticky tape, and a pest control expert. Step one, know your bed bugs. They're flat, oval-shaped, wingless, brownish, but will swell and be a bit reddish after feeding, and grow to about the size of an apple seed. They prefer human blood, but will feed on some animals and can live up to 18 months without feeding. Though some people can have severe allergic reactions to bed bug bites, bed bugs are not known to carry any diseases. Step two, spot the signs. One is being bitten, usually in the night and in rows, but some people don't wake up. Look for other clues, rusty spots on sheets or mattresses from crushed bugs, or dark spots from their droppings, eggs, and shed skins. Many people get bed bugs from hotel rooms. When checking in, examine the headboard, mattress, box spring, closet, and luggage racks for signs of the bugs. If you see any, ask for another room or check out. Step three, with a flashlight, look for bugs in the folds of your mattresses, box springs, furniture, and curtains, cracks in your bed frame and headboard, under chairs, couches and beds, in dresser drawers, behind baseboards, under rugs and around carpet edges, crevices near doors and windows, behind loose wallpaper or wall hangings, in cracks in your plaster, and in electronics like clocks or smoke detectors. Never take discarded mattresses or furniture off the streets. This is one way bed bugs get into your home. Step four, verify that you've found bed bugs by getting a pest control expert to visit your home or sending a dead bug to a university lab, which will let you know if it is in fact a bed bug. Step five, clean up. The less clutter you have on the floor, under your bed, and throughout your home, the fewer hiding places for the bugs. Step six, vacuum up dirt, bugs, and eggs. Vacuum your mattress, box spring, and furniture thoroughly every day until you're sure the bugs are gone. After each vacuuming, remove the bag, wrap it carefully in plastic, and dispose of it immediately. You can also use a steam cleaner, making sure that the temperature of the steam is over 120 degrees. Step seven, purchase a plastic or plastic and cloth encasement for your mattress. Cover the zipper with duct tape and leave the cover on for 18 months. Step eight, clean all clothes, linens, blankets, pillows, and drapes. You need either to have them dry cleaned or wash them in water that is at least 120 degrees and dry them on high heat, at least 140 degrees, for at least a half an hour. You can also place items in dark garbage bags and let them sit out in direct sunlight on hot days. Step nine, make your bed an island. Pull it away from walls, make sure none of the bedding drapes onto the floor, and place the legs of your bed in bowls of soapy water or boric acid. Placing sticky tape around the legs might also work. Beware, using soapy water, boric acid, or sticky tape could damage your bed's legs. Step 10, the most reliable way to get rid of bed bugs is to hire a pest control expert. He will find and destroy their hiding places. And if he must, treat your home with insecticides. He should be willing to make return visits. Make sure that your exterminator has experience with getting rid of bed bugs, otherwise he could just make matters worse. Step 11, make sure that bed bugs can invade your home again by sealing all crevices, including cracks in paint and plaster and spaces where any pipes enter your home. If you have bats or birds living in your attic or basement, you might be getting the bugs from them. So remove them and seal any entrances. Step 12, bed bug eggs aren't always killed, even with pesticides. They take four to 12 days to hatch. So be prepared to employ your bug fighting methods and or have the exterminator treat your house again. Have faith, with perseverance and patience, you can defeat these little suckers. Did you know? Some sources say that travelers in medieval times took pigs to bed so the bugs would feast on the swine instead of them.